So let's talk about the syndicate event here for a second. All right, so you're talking about finishing this off gets you a half unlock of Odo and a full unlock of Tal at five points apiece. Let's move this over here. Five points apiece. 470, 250, divided by five is 94,000 Syndicate XP. Now, if you timed things right, you can get some of this for free and get some of these points for free. Um, between your Bajoran favor, giving you the extra chest, that's an extra 500. If you're pulling out of your, your daily box here, we're talking about probably an extra. Did I do mine already? I did this one already, but I can... Nope, it won't let me see them. Uh, so you got 500 there from your Bajoran favor. Depending on what syndicate level you're at, this could be another four to 500 points. Let's go ahead and claim this one right now. I'm up to 500 based on where I'm at. So that's about 1,000 a day. And then you've got your Mantis refinery, and this is going to be different for some players, as it's going to range anywhere from 1,900 to 2,400, 2,500, depending on what level you've gotten your Mantis up to. Mine's at 2,250. We're doing a double pull of that. So there's 4,500. So if I can do that three times, I'm going to get 5,500 per day. Let me write this number down. Nine. Let me find a pen that actually works. Nine, four, O, oh, five, O. Oh. Oh, you've only got 29 Odo shards, period. Gotcha. That's going to be a little bit there. Driz just went to Ops 40 today. Congrats, Driz. Hopefully you can move through it quickly and get to 41. All right. So if I get 5,500 per day, let's clear this for a second. That's what I get by doing double pulls, doing my event, and if you get them all in and your timers are right, you can do it three times before the event ends. So that's 16,500 that I can get for free. 94050 minus 16,500. You guys might be in a similar range, maybe plus or minus a little bit there. Probably a little bit less. Maybe we'll say you guys are closer to like 80,000 if your syndicate level is a little lower or if your Mantis isn't tier 7, if you're only tier 5 or tier 6. There's not a whole lot of change between the levels. It's like 100 points or 200 points uh, per levels on the Mantis refinery. So now we're talking about 77,000. What other ways do you have to get Syndicate XP? Well, you've got a couple of them. Number one would be if you haven't claimed... Oh, look at that. I just picked up the first milestone. Uh, if you haven't claimed your Flash Pass... There is a little bit of Syndicate XP, and there's a 1,000 right there. And there's 700 right there. So if you haven't claimed those, there's a free, there's 1,700 more. Down here in the bottom half, you've got another 2,200, plus all these officer shards. So if you were planning on picking this up, which... Where am I? I'm 16 shards short on Bashir, so doing this would actually tear him up for me. That might actually be worth the 10 bucks. The 2200 Syndicate XP will also help a little bit about that. Other ways that you can get Syndicate XP. Well, as luck would have it, they're selling a Syndicate Special Pack. Now, I don't know if this is the same for everybody or if this varies per server and ops level and things like that. I'm sure these materials change. For those of you who are in the chat right now, if you could tell me what number is in your Syndicate XP pack, because mine's 50,100. If you could tell me what number is in here, that would be very helpful. Godfather, yours is the same on a level 28 account, 50,000. 
I just want to make sure 50,000 for you. The mats and the lat are different, but the Syndicate XP is the same. Thank you guys very much for that. This is what I was expecting, that this would be the same, and then everything else in the pack would be different, but the primary thing here, the Syndicate XP, would be the same. So, bam, there's 50,000 right there. Okay. So that's for 100 bucks. Now, you also get 14,000 multi-phasic credits with it. But now if we're doing... So we were, I'm down to 77,550 minus the 50,100 that's in that pack. And now I only need 27,450. If we take the 2,000 from the flash pass, I spend the 10 bucks on that. Now I'm down to about 25,000. The other way to get Syndicate XP is from Multiphasics. You get 570 in here. So if I needed 25,500 divided by 570, that would be 44 Multiphasic packs at 500 per pack. Actually, it's going to be 45. At 500 per pack basically means I'm needing to spend about 22, 23,000 on multiphasics to get there. Now I've got seven sitting right here. You get another 14 from the $100 pack, and that puts me up to 21, and I'm just short, but then I also get a few from the flash pass as well. Because the officer flash pass in here also has another 980, and that might be just enough to squeeze it out. <clears throat> so for me, it would only be a $110 purchase by the flash pass. Hang on. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I muted that either. I apologize. All right, so you can get there. With a $100 purchase, if you still have your flash pass, if you're still doing your pulls, you can just bear, and you spend all the multiphasics, you can just barely, and you have a little, you're going to need a little multiphasic left in order to squeeze it out. Or you just buy the two packs, spend the $200, get all the extra resources, which tie in perfectly with this upgrade event, or you just sit on them, sit on them for the next one, and then you've got a big head start going into the next material spend auction, you pick up 100,000 Syndicate XP, which, depending on where you're at, might actually be enough to move you up a level. Most of these levels in here go up about 200,000 per level. CFSTFC.space. Whoops. Let's go back there. And you can look at your Syndicate XP. So, depending on where you're at, if we assume people are somewhere in this, you know, 15 to 20, 18 to 20 range, you know, 100,000 XP is enough to move you up a level. This is 120, then it's 140, and then it's 160. So you're seeing a slight progression here as you're moving up. This is 210. This is a little bit more of a jump from 24 to 25. And then you're talking about just over 200K for each of these levels now to to. 235, this is like 275, uh, 26 is where it switches and you start getting Mavery shards, if you want the new Mavery officer, you also get additional rewards in your loyalty chests, those are your 7 day and 30 day badge chests, so 26 is a big increase for that. Also a nice increase on scrapping speed to help scrap some of those ships faster, which I know some of you are very uh, <laughs> prolific at in terms of scrapping things. And then as you progress further, it's not until you get to 30 that you get the buffs from the par steel generators. And then you got to move on a little bit. At 33, you get the shield buff from the tritanium generators. And then it's at 35 that you get the damage buff 
from the dilithium generators. 35 is currently the max level. There are no more rewards beyond 35. But as you can see, this is nearly, this is just under 5 million total combined. And if you're back down here in like the mid 20s, you're basically at 1 million. So you still need like 4 million to go from the mid 20s all the way to 35. It's a lot of Syndicate XP. Not overly realistic to try and make that big of a jump. But every level does get you something pretty beneficial. And I don't see any other Syndicate packs currently in, in the store for sale. I, I always thought there was usually like a standard one, but I don't know which tab it's under. If there would be one. It's not in Fleet Commanders. It's not in Research either. This Prime only changes what you get out of your daily chest. It doesn't change anything else. So that's not... When it says double Syndicate XP, it's not really double Syndicate XP. It's double your daily claim. Which does help and does add up. But that's not that big of an upgrade for 100 bucks. Those are just our research primes. I thought there was a Syndicate XP pack in here, but I am not seeing it. If anybody happens to know where it is, feel free to shout it out. Can't imagine it would be in any of the specialty upgrade ones. Shouldn't be in with the Armada directives either. I mean, it's always possible it's misfiled, right? Officer recruit packs, away team stuff. Maybe there really isn't one. Because it's not in here either. Or maybe they took it out because they wanted you to focus on the specialty pack. Which is always a possibility as well. So. But there's the math. If you just bought the $100 pack. Even if you did nothing else. You know, you're getting 50,100 out of that times five points. That's a guaranteed 250. That gets you to the third milestone without doing anything else. It's already enough to get you over the third milestone. Now, that's 24. That's 30 Odo shards, and that's 16 Tal shards. For some people, that might be enough to do the unlock or to upgrade him, and you might not even need to go the rest of the way. How many shards do I need for Mr. Odo? I need, is that 46? So we have to go all the way if I want to unlock Odo. And what does Odo do again? Why is he worth unlocking? Well, let's just look him up on here because it's easier to see. Odo. No captain's ability. His officer ability increases your penetration against solo armadas. Not bad, but not really what most people use him for. It's down here. It's him increasing your critical hit damage by 20%. So much like, you know, we see like Gorkon given Hull Breach or the new Beverly who's stacking critical hit damage. Odo does the same, boosting that critical hit bonus that you get but he does it from a lower deck slot and he is an epic officer so he does have pretty decent stats he's very he's also health based as being his primary stat so he syncs up well with officers like 5 of 11 that trigger things based on your health stat so he's not as much of a liability when using him in a below deck slot there get you some more critical hits, you know, and if you've got Khan or you've got Cisco giving you that extra critical hit chance, well, now you're getting a damage bonus on top of it, should make uh, your regular killing faster, as well as your armadas, because he's just boosting critical hit damage. So, whether you've got Hugh and you're out hunting hostiles, or you've got, you know, Khan or... Bashir or 
Cisco boosting your critical hit chance during an armada or a solo armada, he's going to give you some extra damage as well. And as you can see, as you tear him up, not much of an increase right away, 25, then 35. But getting up to here to 45 and 60, these are some pretty big jumps. So, And then Tal changes from 5% to 6%, which, you know, mathematically speaking, if you do 100 divided by 6, he now cuts it down to 16 rounds. Now, assuming you're going to do some damage too, it's probably closer to 15 or 14. Also decreases the number of, by decreasing the number of rounds, you also decrease the number of opportunities that like Giorgio or Nero have to miss and not proc two rounds in a row. So when your fight's going 22, 20, 21, 22 rounds, it's usually because they miss somewhere in the middle and it's usually in the teens. Uh, if you can cut the fight down because now Tal is doing 6% burning damage, you cut four or five rounds off that fight. It's less damage you're taking, lets you kill more things. So being able to tear him up is also pretty beneficial. So that's what I think about this syndicate event. There's the math on it for you. If you have any questions, feel free to shout them out. We'll see what we can do.